Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about my experience in software industry. Let me introduce myself. My name is and I have uh, 11 years of experience in IT industry. So here I would like to share some of my experience inside the software industry I will uh, I will share what all lessons I learned from this uh, software industry what all things I really enjoyed in in this software industry and what all pain or uh, rather the hardships I had to suffer in this uh, software industry Way back in 2009, I really got lucky to grab an opportunity to work in IT industry. I, w I was an uh, average student uh, during my college days and uh, no, even no one expected me to join an IT industry. All my friends believed that I would be a lecturer or rather I saw small uh, sort of jobs but they never expect me to get into an IT industry. So uh, in 2009 when I completed the MTech I got this uh, opportunity from a company through campus placement and that one day I put in a lot of efforts because I uh, that day I felt that I want to somehow somehow I want this software job I want to get inside the software industry that kind of interest came that one particular day it was it was not a pre-planned thing it suddenly came up in mind because I felt like every, all my friends are getting into uh, IT industry and why I can't? Let me try. If I fail, uh, no issues, but let me try this. So that day, I put in a lot of effort, plus prayers also. Obviously, definitely we need a luck. Because the questions are going to be tough. We, we can prepared we can get a, uh, get through it but it can happen the, uh, like a, there can be a very tough questions and we cannot answer so like this same thing happened that day when I was uh, writing the technical round none of the questions I know but I just blindly uh, answered all the questions it was a, uh, it was a choose and choose a correct answer so I blindly uh, okay 40 percentage I know but remaining 60 percentage I was not I was not at all aware of that it was really tough question but I blind because I since things I somehow want to get it I blindly wrote that question and due to my mere luck I cleared the technical code. and after that it was very easy. I, I, I passed all the technical, all the other rounds of the interview, and finally I got it. And I, I, I also couldn't believe that really I got this. It was the first time I played in all the rounds, and getting into the IT industry. All of my friends never believed, but this is the problem. You are getting into an IT industry by mere luck. That is not good. You should have a good knowledge. You should have a real interest. Luck will play only at a certain moments. Not the whole life. It is the hard work that pays you off. That is the main lesson I learned. So, as I said, by mere luck, I just got through all the rounds and got
got this job and after that a new shock came in 2008 and 9 i think in 2008 global recession came so you all know that during the that was a very hard time for the it it guys all so of them faced very difficulty to get job and so many so many guys lost the job during that period it was very very bad time. so but that time just before that when i got this it job i the next day i saw a news at global decision the companies will not call the employees oh my god what i am what am i going to do my my parents and my friends told that don't don't try this it don't wait for that it industry to call you because everyone is losing the job and there is no chance that this particular company who had selected me will call you will ever call you all of my friends told this to it is stupid to wait it to be stupid to wait or expect that this company will call you but inside my heart i felt like this bad time will over like today's pandemic this too shall over so my that in 2008 uh, i waited for almost one year in during that one year i i i heard so many negative things like don't don't expect don't wait you will not get the job but that my heart said just wait man one year gone but still there was no hope after one year one fine day i got a mail from that company that come man please be available on this particular day and join the company i was really happy that day i told all the friends all the guys who had said me negative things that here here is it i got it so so this really shows that if you are really confident or if you are have a self belief that you will become success you will if once you you give up then everything go but till the time you doesn't give up no uh, no power in this world can defeat you so it is you who decides it so so many th- uh, things happened in my life like uh, it was really lucky i got this uh, job that one particular day and the next day again a collapse then the third day again a hope so this is this is there all about life ups and downs and that's all about life so this is this, this things is not over yet so as i said that luck will play a bad luck will play in one day or two day but it is your hard work that finally pays you off so due to this luck i got this job and and then and then i when i joined it i thought it's it is eh, nothing to worry it will be very fine and it will be very easy job i thought but once you get in time i was a point I, i was placed to one project where i had to handle live tickets live tickets means you all know that during that time you have to correctly monitor the system and when you wait get some issues you have to look at it look look into it at particular point and you have to immediately solve you you will you may get a 15 minutes or half an hour like this within the half an hour or within a one hour at the maximum you need to solve it otherwise the company need to pay the penalty this is what the live uh, project is all about and i i was just a fresher i was appointed to to support a live project a live system i need to support 
that one uh, one Saturday. So it was really tense. And next day, somehow I, I, I passed that day due to the help of my uh, senior friend. The next day, again the pressures came. So it was very difficult to handle those pressures. So that luck will never pay, never help you that time. You need to do put a lot of hard work to get a knowledge and then only it will be easy. Luck and all will pay one day or two days, that's it. So it was very difficult time for me. Then I thought like, eh, actually the, that uh, the eh, that globalization was an indication that you are not fit for this IT field. Maybe that globalization came to show me that you should not join the IT, IT industry. So such kind of thoughts came into my mind. So then what I did is like uh, I, I tried to adjust in that company, in that project for some more time. But finally I was removed from the project. But I felt very happy because I was every bit of that uh, seconds when uh, working there in that project was very, very difficult for me. I felt like I was in jail or I was in a remote place where I couldn't do anything. I, I was, I want to jump from there. I want to escape from there. So finally that come that project released me saying that I didn't perform well, well I didn't perform well but I I couldn't understand anything how to do what to do what kind of project is nothing even the simple basics I, I didn't understand then how can I perform I cannot even code a single line so that was uh, my first project it was the first project and just three months I lost the first project and I was moved to bench. I felt happy in, in one sense, like I am escaped from there. But after one month or two months, still I couldn't go get any project because I, I, didn't, I didn't learn anything. Okay, so when the, there was a training time, a period, training period for two months initially after joining. But that was not useful at all. Because within one month or two months, you cannot learn one chapter of a cobalt. It's very, really, very really difficult. You need to practice a lot. But one month of training, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't uh, learn anything. So this now, the project is lost. I am in bench. Now I need to get some project. Some otherwise the company will remove you. So the, uh, the tension was slowly, slowly uh, eating my body. So what I, I, I had no idea because uh, on the other side I felt like, uh, okay, then now I, I'm, not fit, I'm not fit for this IT field. So let's uh, again go back to lecture field. I was I was preparing the lecture classes inside my room thinking like okay let me try for this lecture field suddenly one day again one call came from one project saying that you have to come for interview then uh, I, 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 I was mentally uh, preparing myself for the lecture field then uh, my uh, friends and uh, my brothers told like uh, try again for one last time if you get a chance clear then you can continue this job right then then uh, if you didn't get then uh, obviously you go for a lecture so for last uh, last time for a last chance i just attended the interview and uh, after that uh, interview they said that i was got selected i was really shocked at all that Still, I was not feeling to go into the IT industry because uh, IT, sorry, IG project because like uh, the past experience of the first project was very, very uh, bad for me. So I thought like this project also will be the same. But this project, the new project was very, very good. 
they really supported me here. They said that you no need to worry, take your time and you know. so I was really happy. So I that that um, moment I understood that there are side projects which are very simple. There are projects which are very, very tough. There are life projects, there are simple so lot of projects are there. So it it is based on your luck that you're getting into such project and uh, you're getting into a difficult project. So I was lucky, I got that project, then I, this moment I, underst- I, I, I understood my experience and, and from that experience I, I understood that how to uh, improve. So I started, in the first day itself I started uh, learning all the basics, uh, put a lot of time in that uh, project uh, and uh, learned a lot then just slowly slowly I started solving issues and I got a grip on that so so like that I started improving so that, that I, then only I realized that that is the way to become success so to want to stuck into the IT industry forever that's a key hard work that there is no other thing there is no other luck or God, nothing like that it's a pure hard work so that is what the uh, learning i got so but but there are something which i would like to share also there are people who unnecessarily give you pressure there are people who really supports you my understanding is like pressure is something which you keep there is nothing pressure in, in any work. You, if you are really interested and if you really want to know what's going on or what how it's working and you know, everything is easy but uh, if you are not interested obviously anything will be tougher even a simple thing to ju- you're just going to walk if you are not interested to walk it will be very tougher but if you are really interested to walk, then it becomes very easy. You can walk n n any number of kilometers. You can walk. It you will not feel tired. But if you are really not interested, then it will become definitely a very huge task. That's the same thing in IT industry or in the industry. The interest matters. So, what is the point of giving pressure to the employees? I know a lot of managers give me unnecessary pro- pressure to employees. They they think like if we give pressure to employees, then only they will work hard, and then only uh, the issues get solved. Then only uh, the company profit will come. That thought is wrong. Obviously, employees will work. They have to work because they need to get sell. Right? They will work. To increase the performance, if you give more pressure, what will happen is they will do more mistakes. In that hurry, worry, in that tension, they are in. T- they may solve it very fast, but afterwards, after two three days, then the the uh, the, the, the the issue will start coming up again. For the time being, the issue will be solved. But what will happen is, again, that uh, once it go to the production, then after a few days, they will one or the one by one the issue will come up because you are doing a hurry hurry without quite, without testing it, without correctly testing it in a in a uh, in a tension mode. If you do, hundred percent you will do mistakes. But if you give the employees enough time, or if you at least if you're not giving him tension, definitely he will write the code correctly, and chance of error will be very very less. And that will definitely improve the company's performance, company's profit will improve because the issue started coming again again. That will be very bad sign in front of the client. 
Ryan will think this many issues are coming for just one court. Means that that's a really bad sign. Okay, you are delaying the uh, com- you are you are delaying the compl- uh, the work or is also an issue. But you, if you have correct reason why we are delaying the work, because the requirement is this much big, you need more time. So that condition is there. Then, definitely, if you delay, also plan will understand. Oh, the requirement has suddenly changed. We need more work on that. Then they will understand. Also, like I don't understand why the client is unnecessarily giving more pressure, because work. We anyway, we need to fix it, but should understand the 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 problem. How much difficult? What all they need to take it? If for a simple code, you definitely you can ask a little less time because it is simple code. Any any everyone knows how to fix it. Then it's very simple, but. For the case when no one knows, even the subject matter expert also, if he doesn't know how to fix this, you need to give extra time to the infrastructure, to the newcomer, because no one knows, right? So, so obviously, they, uh, he, he he need to discuss with other guys. He need to discuss with the subject matter expert, other senior programmers, because the thing is, no one, no one. Knows the solution. Definitely, we need time. So there is no use of giving pressure. Everyone knows that if we give pressure, unnecessarily our headache, everything, our health will go off. Uh, but it is same with uh, in turn that will definitely affect the company's performance. Also. Not the employees the is destroying. Employee, uh, the company also gets destroyed. So. That is what I learned. That when I got the interest, I started working uh, day and night. Never, con- never seen oh, this uh, already late night. I've never seen that. Just continue them because any interest is there. But one, they they started unnecessarily giving pressure. Also, this like when one person is come, I completed one per at the moment, next moment I got the other. So these kind of lot of learnings I uh, got from this IT industry. It just merely works on the how much interest you are, and also the other related facts like salary, the comp, uh, then the other facilities. This also should be there. If suppose we are working on two modules and we are working on ten modules, the, the, the difference will be there, right? So ten modules. The guy who is working on ten programs, he need to get more paid. Guy uh, then compared to the guy who is working on just two programs. So the uh, that amount should be. I was working on project day and night, and I was getting very less compared to anyone else. See, suppose I'm just a uh, ten years experience. I need to get a minimum ten lakh. Like that is the basic. Uh, software industry room, but I was getting less. I re- requested my manager I to uh, increase the basic pay, but I didn't get any s- sort of help. Definitely, managers will tell. Definitely, they will they will increase next year, uh, or they will say I'm very sorry this year company didn't. Pro-. That in all may be some reasons, but that. Will definitely impact the employee because if you are getting less pay and doing more job, you you, you will get frustrated. How can you work comfortably? Because at the end of the day, the money matters. You are getting less pay and doing more work. That is not at all fair, na. That's the thing I got to learn from this. I did history after ten years. It doesn't matter. No one doesn't matter. You have to consecutively, at regular intervals, demand the required salary. 
you have to demand otherwise you have to definitely jump from that company you have to try for other opportunities once you, you jump then all definitely you will get more package and all but otherwise you are going to stay in the same package the whole life my experience if you if you see i never tried outside i was t- learning 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 and i stayed in the same company for 10 years and and i what i got very less package compared to any one of the same experience very less package i got and i and when i uh, demanded more package it was too late they were not even listening because they know that 10 years experience guy will get very less chance outside they are not going to go out so let's keep up with the same package so i i was really sad and angry this so much hard work i am doing and i am getting less paid it's really unfair so that that big lesson i learned is that you should not stay in a company for more than 5 years consecutively it's the biggest thing i learned because if i would have jumped in 5 years my package would have increased but now what to do now if you try after 10 years you are trying outside the opportunities are very less because 10 years experience guy in a software industry they will select for a manager post or maximum a technical lead post and you can just assume that in any field manager position will be very less a technical lead position will be very less right for a hundred employees there will be one manager or a ten employees there will be one manager just for an answer the opportunities are less but if you're not manager you will get so that's what the problem comes in now after coming out of uh, uh, the IT industry for it uh, if you are 10 years experienced guy very less opportunities so before you uh, get if before you get this 10 years experience before you uh, reach the 5 years or less than 5 years you, sh- you should try the only thing is you should be consistent for a small years like if you started jumping every year to a new company that is also a bad thing it feels like that recruiter will feel so you are not staying in one company for a minimum one year so the the rule is like you should stay in one company for two years maximum not more than that and after two years you can start looking that will be very good because it clearly shows that you okay you are consistent but you are getting a lot of opportunities also. so likewise if you do you get a huge pay when you reach the 10 years experience you do your pay will be very huge and you can easily settle in life but if you are going to stay in one company for 10 years or 15 years and all you you pay will be less your knowledge will be very less it will be a total career failure never do like that also don't ju- jump each year that also it will be bad impression so that's it you should be consistent you should be thinking about your career not just just work and work and work because uh, after 10 years and all only the whatever you did in it industry nothing matters how much you earn matters how much money you earn plus how much knowledge you earn both matters so at least you should from knowledge you can earn but money that is the matter at the end of the day every family we need to live we need enough package enough money just assume after 10 years you are getting less package then how you settle in life you still have to continue work and and you cannot work uh, till you become uh, 60s or 70s in india i don't think so people 
will stay as a programmer till 60s or 70s. In America, I, can, I had seen that. They are very happy in that particular position. They don't want to become a manager. They are the, uh, I know a uh, person who is 60, 70 age and he is still a programmer. He is happy in that position. Because they are getting enough salary with that package, with that experience itself, with that position itself. No need of uh, becoming a manager and all. So that's what my uh, uh, suggestion is for all of you, that don't stay in one company for long years. Try opportunity, try get opportunity more often. And once you get opportunity, jump to that company. It doesn't matter if you are, uh, you are faithful to one company and all. That is, first of all, you have to think about your life. Then think about the company. Okay, company will not think about you. They will just think their performance is good or not. That's it. So, this is what, this is what I learned and and, uh, and I was very happy. I, I was not happy with this, my career and all, and now I'm really trying outside. So, the thing is like, just change yourself and try to become a very successful career. Okay, thank you, thank you everyone uh, for hearing my experience. Uh, hope it will help you in some or the other way. And all the best for your life in IT field. And keep rocking, guys. Okay? See you.